This can happen very quickly when growing hydroponically indoors. I mean, it's been a busy week. Okay, cut me some slack and the plants have taken over. Ugh. I mean, sure, I want them to grow and we're certainly doing that, but the rules are different for indoor gardeners. Yeah, the sun does not shine here in my basement. I'm solely reliant upon my grow lights. And because the distance from artificial light sources is so crucial to plants, I really ought to pay more attention to their form and overall canopy shape. Okay, so with my trusty pruning shears in hand, it's time to clean this mess up. Timing is everything with pruning. Saying that I should have pruned back these cucumber growth tips a week ago before they started invading the whole space, um, you know, would be an understatement. So these massive leaves, too, are totally enveloping my poor little YOLO wonders in front of them. I mean, clearly, Everest needs to intervene. Now, when pruning, be mindful of the fact that any stems and leaves you choose to remove represent a wasted energy investment for both you and your plants, unless you intend to root them as cuttings. I mean, conversely, there's no point in leaving stems and leaves on your indoor plants that are receiving too little to no usable light energy as that's wasted effort for your plants too. So my tip is to let them focus on the canopy. We're about to go into fruit production now, so it's a great time to get pruning, even um, if I do have to get a little bit brutal. Let's do this. So, firstly, I position my plants on my tray so that the tallest specimens are at the edge. I also want my cucumbers to be confined to this back trellis here. I'm aiming for a concave-shaped canopy with my shortest plants directly beneath my grow light. Now, I'm running a Hortolux 1000-watt dual arc. It's basically a 600-watt HPS and a 400-watt metal halide merged into a single lamp. Bam! I switched to this lamp because I found that the 1000-watt double-ended HPS running in an open fixture well, honestly, was just a little too much to handle. My plants had simply grown up a little too high, and I ran out of vertical space to raise my reflector up any higher. Lucky for me, I had this Sunstar 6-inch air-cooled reflector going spare, and it has truly saved the day. It's cooled by a 6-inch hyperfan running at 35% speed. I mean, I only want to push a gentle breeze over this lamp. Metal halides don't like being overcooled any more than they like being dimmed. The Hortolux Dual Arc gives me a great spectrum rich in both orange and red and blue. If you're looking for a more affordable 1000 watt Dual Arc lamp, then check out the Ultra Sun. It's less than half the price of the Hortolux and performs really well too. As well as the enhanced spectrum, I find that Dual Arc lamps are more forgiving than standard 1000 watt HPS. But maybe that's just me. Oh gosh, I mean, look at that. My Bulgarian carrot has started to fruit. I mean, I, I hadn't even seen this because this jungle was so dense. I mean, that's cool. I am looking forward to trying those, if you can't tell. Okay, so let's roll on this a bit. See how I've stripped the lower portions of the peppers at the periphery that weren't receiving much light? You really need to use every trick available as an indoor gardener to harness every precious photon you can. I recommend using soft mesh netting. Some grow tent manufacturers offer these as accessories or check out the brand Grower's Edge. As you can see, I've repotted three of these Tokyo hot chili pepper plants into five gallon smart pots and really spread them out using this netting. I've basically created a sort of screen of foliage, all at one level basking under a 600 watt HPS. I've added another light, spread out the tables, and ditched around seven plants. It wasn't an easy decision, but I'm left in no doubt that I'll enjoy more plant health and productivity over cramming too many plants under one light. Okay, quick update complete. Let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for regular updates. This is an overly caffeinated Everest saying peace out.